So we're going to start as usual with a recap of the compound interest formula. So that is Fv is equal to Pv1 plus Im to the power of n, where this is the future value, this is the present value, this is the interest rate, the M is the compounding period, so if it's monthly that would be 12, it's daily 365 and so on, and the N is the duration. And once again, the N and the M need to correspond in units. So if M is monthly, it has a 12, then your N needs to be in months. Okay, so let's now make the present value the subject of the formula. Okay, so we want to look at making PV the subject of the formula for the compound interest equation. So the compound interest equation is PV is equal to P, FV is equal to PV 1 plus I subscript M to the power of N. And the goal is we want to make PV the subject of the formula. That means you want PV on it by itself on one side. Now for this one, we can basically just divide through by the entire term sitting over there. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to divide through by the term. So you're going to say Fv divided by 1 plus Im to the power of n is equal to Pv. And if we don't like reading it like that, we can just rewrite it as Pv is equal to Fv 1 plus Im to the power of n. Okay, so now let's go do some examples where we want to solve for the present value. So in this example, it says after 3.5 years, the investment value is 21,930 Rand and 47 cents. If the capital was invested at 15% per annum compounded monthly, what was the amount of capital initially invested? Initially invested. Okay, so step one is we need to acknowledge the fact that it is asking for compound interest. So we see that there with the compound monthly. So we know it's the compound interest formula, which is Fv is equal to Pv 1 plus Im to the power of n. Now, what is it asking us for? It says, what was the amount of capital initially invested? So, and that's where we're looking at. So we're looking at that part there. So what was initially invested? So it actually wants to find PV. So we go, okay, what's the formula where PV is the subject of the formula? So PV is equal to FV 1 plus I M to the power of N. Now you can either just learn it off by heart or you can just learn how to just make PV the subject of the formula and go from there. Now we go, okay, what information do we know? So the information that we know is it says after 3.5 years. So we have N is currently 3.5 years. Then the investment value is 21,930 Rand and 47 cents. So the future value is R21930.47. If the capital was invested at 15% per annum compounded monthly. So currently that's the nominal interest rate. That's what the banks would advertise to you because you can see it's per annum brackets compounded monthly. So we have J is equal to 15% per annum compounded monthly. So now we need to change the nominal interest to the effective interest because we use effective interest in our compound interest formula. So the effective interest is going to be, it's compounded monthly, so it's going to be I, 12 that we're looking for. So we're looking for I12. So that's going to be the nominal interest in decimal fraction notation, in other words, 15 divided by 100. And then we're going to divide it by the number of months in a year so we can get the interest that occurs per month. So now we have I12. 
And then what was the amount of interest? So we have all information so far. Before we even do anything, we check that the N and the M correspond. So M is in months, N is in years, so we need to convert N into months. So 3.5 times by 12. And that is going to give us 42 months. Now we check, do we have all the information we need? So we have the future value, we have M, we have I, and we have N. So we can now just substitute it into the formula. So the formula is PV is equal to the future value, which is 21930.47 divided by 1 plus 0 0.15 divided by 12, all to the power of 42. And then we go ahead and solve it, put it into our calculator and solve. We get 13,015 Rand and 37 cents. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So we make PV the subject of the formula, we check to make sure that we have the effective interest rate, we make sure that N and M coincide, and then we can just plug it in 